I want to start out by saying I am not a big Star Wars fan. I love the film series as the film series itself. Like, um, for example, I'm not a huge fan of gangster films, but I love the Godfather series because it's just... Well, I love the first two. That's the whole Godfather series. Godfather Part 3, the f film by itself, it's quite decent. But other than that, like Star Wars and The Godfather, they're film series that if you're a movie buff or just anybody in general who likes movies, you love those movies. And there's just those niches and things that bother the hell out of you. For example, I just finished watching on my Blu-ray collection of Star Wars of Jedi Returns. And this is the third and good concluding film of the Star Wars trilogy, of the original good trilogy, and not the prequel mess. So, at the end of, the original end of Star Wars Jedi Returns, uh, you know how um, uh, the original guy who played um, Darth Vader, or I should say Anakin Skywalker, you know how his ghost appears? Well, guess what we get in the Blu-ray version? A pedophile-looking Hayden Christian <laughs> ghost. At the end of... Y y you know what? Hayden Christian... Let's face it. Anakin Skywalker was a role of his lifetime. L l l it's a fact. Him playing Anakin Skywalker... Is, was... Such a honor for him to play because... He was playing Anakin before, Dar before he was Darth Vader. And that's a lifetime movie role that you'll never have again. But, even when I was young, I was not a fan, and I did not like... I, I did not like, whatsoever, Star Wars Episode Two: The Clone Wars. My grandmother and I went to see it at Regal Cinema Theaters in... Uh, in Easton, and this is when I was living in East Stroudsburg uh, when I was younger, we both were annoyed with the film on a lot of levels. Why were we annoyed with the film? And this is me talking. I was annoyed with the film because of Hayden Christian. He made Adigan seem such like a whiny bitch who wanted to slap him. That's how whiny Anakin is. He's like, eh, but I just be, yeah, 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 yeah. throughout the whole film. James, uh, look, oh, okay, now you gotta kind of give credit to um the guy who played Obi Wan Kenobi um in the prequels um uh Ian McGowan, I think. Ian McGowan. However, his name is said. But you have to give credit to him for playing Obi-Wan Kenobi in such a way where you you kind of see, yeah, he's trying to per portray Alice, Alec Guinness's character pretty well. Oh, you're talking about Ewan McGregor, right? Yeah. Anyway. <laughs> Shush. I can't. Sorry. Anyway, you kind of see him trying to portray the character that Alec Guinness played in the 1977 version of Star Wars, and you see him staying true to Obi-Wan Kenobi, and I give credit for him for doing that in the prequels. But Hayden Christian, no. He had the chance of playing Anakin Skywalker, and he ruined it for himself, and he ruined it for most Star Wars fans. That's why George Lucas sold the franchise to Disney, and thinking, Oh, they made Frozen. Maybe they'll make an animated singing princess version of Star Wars. It'll happen, believe me. It'll happen. Star Wars on Ice. 2020 release. Anyway. So that's why I sold the franchise, is because George Lucas said I had over the hill moment. I'm too old for this crap. Maybe I should do other films, and maybe he should. 
but he took his own masterpieces, the original three Star Wars, A New Hope, Empire Strikes Back, and Jedi Returns, and he ruined them. And perfect example how he ruined A New Hope. There was this line in A New Hope that was edited out for, of the Blu-ray disc, and I remember hearing it on my original DVD copies. Obi-Wan Kenobi tells Darth Vader, If you strike me now, I shall become more powerful than you think. That's taken out of the disc in this Blu-ray version of A New Hope. Yeah. That crucial line where Obi-Wan Kenobi's telling to Darth Vader, Hey, if you kill me now, whatever force I have is going to go into Luke Skywalker and he's going to defeat you. It... He, he, he ruined the films. Another way he ruined the films, uh, and I was watching, um, a couple of weeks ago, I was watching Empire Strikes Back. And, uh, there's a particular scene that, they, that was cut out. Uh, if you ever seen the original where, uh, Han Solo has the, fu has a fight with, um, a stormtrooper. It, it was right before, a couple of scenes before he got captured, and before he was put in that, uh, ice metal concoction. He was fighting with a stormtrooper to take down his shield. Uh, and don't ask me what shield exactly, even Han Solo didn't know, all he knew they had to take down a shield. And... He had this fight with the stormtrooper, and it went on for about a good five minutes. When the DVDs came out, it was short into three minutes, and which was understandable because, I mean, it took away from most of the film, but it was necessary. But the Blu-ray DVD, it's taken out. I mean, it's so. I have a couple of things wrong with the Blu-ray DVDs, but neither the less, Star Wars: The Original Trilogy is still one of the best movie series out there just as much as The Godfather, but Francis Ford Coppola, if he ever thinks of putting The Godfather trilogy on Blu-ray, don't screw up The Godfather series like George Lucas screwed up Star Wars. That's all I have to say. See you guys.